During your drives or walks, you've probably passed a building that catches your eye. Whether brick, wood, or slab of stone, some buildings naturally have us curious about what's inside. I fundamentally believe that if you're a building owner and you own the physical asset, you should own the digital version, and that's not necessarily the case today. What we want to do is make it possible so that one, you as a building owner own your own data. Two, is that the data that you own has actually been verified. And three, that you are in possession to be able to kind of control and share that building data securely with your architects, your engineers, your other consultants. If we're able to put building owners in the driver's seat and be able to accurately verify their building information, we believe that they're now able to be uniquely proactive as to what should happen with their building. One of the challenges we find is we acquire older corporate campuses that might have been built in the 60s, 70s, or 80s. And it's very difficult to find an accurate set of plans. So when you have a design team with, with architects, with engineers, you have a construction management group, everyone needs to be working from the same set of accurate drawings. Today, the technology is so much better and so advanced, it truly helps these teams start off on the right foot in an organized manner and all working together. There are 1.6 billion buildings in the world, and 99.9% .9 of them exist offline. But with 3D scanning technology becoming more affordable, anyone with the latest iPhone can accurately scan their home, apartment, or office. There's reality capture, building information modeling, there's sensors and Internet of Things. But the thing that makes buildings really difficult to understand is their enormous scale. They're big, there are a lot of people involved, and they stand for a very long time. It makes it difficult to have a holistic understanding of that building. And so technologies like the ones I listed, they integrate all of these smaller pieces back together to help us see farther and be aware of more. There are cameras that capture visible light. There are thermal cameras that help you study the leaks in the insulation of the building. There are flying cameras on drones that help you see and inspect things that are hard to reach. And then there are LiDAR scanners. These are a new kind of scanner that help you take three-dimensional images of your buildings that help you know the spatial geometry of the building. This new way of collecting data is going to allow us to be proactive as opposed to reactive. By bringing buildings online, what it means is we're now able to view buildings in multi-dimensions. And so instead of stone tablets or blueprints in 2D, we're actually now able to view buildings in the same way that you and I view buildings in real life. But it also allows us to search and index parts and pieces of a building in the same way that you and I search for information on the internet. And so our ability to view and index um, different parts of the building is fundamentally different. Digital knowledge sharing is the future of real estate and property management. It can help us visualize office to residential conversions, calculate environmental impact, and even increase a building's value. The Integrated Projects Digital Building Platform, IPX, allows real estate teams to share key building data, such as floor plans, gross floor areas, and equipment inventories in an internet browser window. Integrated Projects Exchange is a better way of managing information about buildings. We leverage the state of the art in reality capture technology and in digital modeling in order to present accurate information to those who need it, to the decision makers. They can go to IPX, look at the model, and they trust what they are looking at to inform their decision making. New regulations on CO2 emissions, hybrid work, the global housing shortage, and increasing costs of material and labor have created a perfect storm for landlords who need to quickly adapt. So on the question of sustainability, in order for us to reposition our buildings efficiently, by 2050, we actually have to like lower our carbon footprint almost down to zero. And what I'm suggesting is that the first steps to do that is to first be able to answer what is. And so by combining 3D scanning and 3D modeling, we're now able to accurately, down to the millimeter, answer 
what exactly is in this building, from every quantity of door and window to the linear feet of HVAC ducts and lighting fixtures and everything in between. Real estate has a propensity to be stuck in the stone age in a lot of aspects. And what you're seeing is with the advent of new technology and prop tech, you're seeing this gap close where things that were kind of in separate silos are now being woven together. So everything kind of boils down to understanding what you have. And unfortunately, most people don't. So when I heard what Jose and the team here was doing, I wanted to get involved because it's a huge problem. When I consider the history of how the country has built infrastructure in the past, in the future, buildings will be serviced in a proactive way. In many ways, by 3D scanning these buildings today, where tomorrow we're able to provide an entirely new series of services that just simply weren't possible. For more information, check out our website at integratedprojects.com.